What is going on ladies and genitals, Yoda Slayer here bringing you some more Black Ops 2 multiplayer gameplay. I got a game of Hardpoint today here on Nuketown 2025. And guys, can you believe that they took out the Nuketown 2025 24-7 freaking playlist and then initially didn't even put it into the map rotation? Dude, tell me that just is not gay as age, dude, for real. Uh, but if you do not know, they did make a new playlist. Um, down, at, I think it, the playlist is actually called Bonus, and you can play these Chaos. Uh, it's called like Chaos Mode. It's got a bunch of the, it's pretty much the smallest maps in the game. And Nuketown 2025 is in that rotation. I just wanted to let you guys know, um, in case you guys were missing Nuketown 2025, I really did. Uh, I, I love that 24-7 uh, Nuketown 2025. That is all I played when I, uh, every time I play multiplayer, just to rank up. Because, come on, dude. Drop like 60 70 80 80 kill games like every game uh you're gonna rank up pretty quick but this is just a hardcore game i think i go like 82 and about 30 or something like that i die a lot but i wanted to show you guys this gameplay and ask you guys uh because i thought you guys would really enjoy this i do die a lot like i said but i do get a lot of kills it's really action-packed and i like i played the objective pretty well and i wanted your guys opinions on this because you know there's all kinds of different YouTubers out there. We got like Fear Crads that goes like 101 and stuff like that. 101 and 2 and stuff like that. And I've had those type of games, but I can't get them on a regular basis like some of these dudes can. Then we got guys like Wings of Redemption that tip you guys the best, aka quote unquote, power points in the map and pretty much just camp the entire time. You know, and it's not, a, it's more about his personality that gets people to watch, I think, than his gameplay. Um, but I wanted to get your opinion on this. I play the I play super aggressive, but I die a lot. What kind of gameplays do you like to see? Do you like to see just this right here, what you're seeing now, just getting up in their shit, or not not necessarily getting like an insane KD, uh, but playing the objective and just really action packed? Or would you rather me sit back and kind of play a little bit more defensive and not get you know what I mean? Like try to get that high KD. Uh, maybe go for those like 70 and 5 games, you know, 70 kills, 5 death games. I don't know. I really like playing this way. And the coolest thing about Black Ops 2 is, you know, with Modern Warfare 2, they introduced the tactical nuke, and that made a lot of people try to camp that right there. You're going to see a couple horseshit deaths in this, by the way. Um, but, you know, in Modern Warfare 2, they had the tactical nuke, and I'm pretty sure that made everybody play super defensive to try to go for those tactical nukes. And that carried over into Black Ops, um, you know, and then, then in the same with Modern Warfare 3, everybody was trying to get Moabs playing super defensive. Uh, back in COD 4, I remember playing exactly like this for 3-5-7 killstreaks. It wasn't hard to get those 3-5-7 killstreaks, and then you were done. You didn't have to worry about, you know, a 15 killstreak, 25 killstreak, anything like that. You just played balls to the walls, and that's what I think Black Ops 2 really brings out. And I think that's why a lot of people are actually enjoying this game a lot more than the past couple Call of Duties is because you can play balls to the walls walls and get you know i got my kill streaks on uav um uh, hell what is it hell i don't know the little airplane thing and then lightning storm normally i run uav counter uav lightning storm you know i didn't have you counter uav open right now um but i got those low kill streaks on i don't ever put the you know really high tier uh kill streaks on it seems like when i have put them on i did try to play a little more bit more defensive and uh you know try to get those kill streaks and i like doing this right here just rushing in there five dudes in front of me who cares f it let's just do it that's what i like doing and i think this i think this is the cod uh, that is closest to COD 4 type playstyle that we've seen in a very long time. Well, since Call of Duty 4 and World of War, basically. You know, I'm so glad that there's not a Moab in the game that's constantly in the back of your mind. You know, just like, dude, you're, you're getting close to the Moab. It's time to slow your roll. I just like doing this, what you're seeing on the screen, and just going crazy. And I wanted to know if you guys like this kind of gameplay. Is you know, 30 deaths. I don't know how many times I died, to be honest. It's right around 30. Uh, I get 82 kills. I know that much. Um, 82 and 35 is what I go. I just looked at the screen. Um, but I, this is the type... I turned on that dude something fierce. But this is the type of stuff I like. And I was just wondering if you guys would enjoy this. I'm going to be posting... You know, I've posted a lot of multiplayer in the past. Uh, but with Modern Warfare 3... I didn't really post very much of it just because I didn't really enjoy the game. But since I'm really enjoying this one, I'm going to start having a couple multiplayers now. I'm not going to have one every single day, but I'll throw one out there every once in a while. Now, I know the last couple have been Nuketown, but it, that's all I was playing pretty much. I really enjoy this map. I love how fast-paced it is and stuff like that. Sure, guys camp up in the windows like cocksuckers a lot. There's a lot of aggravating stuff that happens on Nuketown. Shotguns, stuff like that, dude. People... 
I played a dude earlier that I don't know what shotgun it is, but it's semi-auto. It's you know, kind of reminded of the AA-12. He dropped like a 90 kill game almost using that shotgun, and dude, he was pissing me off so bad. But it is what it is, man. I'll tell you what. The 870 shotgun in this, just that pop one, owns everything. I was playing with that a little bit later on uh, today. Oh my god, dude, you get so many one-hit kills with that. If you don't get a one-hit kill, you're usually just a bit too far away or hit him square in the feet. Check this out. Shoot him in the chest as he runs to me. Knifes me. That's the kind of shit that Black Ops 2 offers, it seems like. The hit detection is just so weird. Yeah, I was shooting the dude on the left a little bit, but I was still lighting that guy up, and he still he knifed me, man. Uh, but yeah, I really enjoy Black Ops 2. Uh, some of you guys probably don't have it. You're waiting until Christmas. I can't wait till you get there. Uh, the Christmas nubs are always... I, I, op I welcome them with open arms, basically. It's just like, oh, God. But then there's going to be that UAV spam and stuff like that. If you guys want to know what my class setup is, a lot of people have been asking me on Twitter and stuff, like, what do I use? I pretty much run all shotgun or submachine guns with a couple shotgun classes. I don't use any of the assault rifles, any LMGs. I've, I've used them in the past, uh, but I've pretty much navigated to strictly SMGs, but every once in a while on a shotgun. And what I'm running is I always have two attachments on the gun. With the SMGs, it's usually extended mag. Um, and a suppressor or sometimes the laser and fast mags and I change it up You know, I don't have one set set thing, but I really like the extended mags I don't think I have it on this one. Uh, we'll see here when I reload. I may have it on this one Yeah, 65 shots in the PDW dude is just insane how many bullets you got uh, before you have to reload uh, But as far as like perks and stuff like that um, I always have a Simtex and one shock charge. I do not have a secondary because I like having uh, the perk one greed and I always use flak jacket and ghost. You know, a lot of people, if you're used to a black ops, uh, the first one, you're like, oh my God, you use ghost. I use it in a total different way. I'm not using it to camp because if you stop moving, you actually appear on the radar here. Check it out. Shot him a lot, died. Uh, but you actually appear on the radar with ghosts if you did not know. So it really doesn't benefit you for camping. But I wanted to use ghost. Uh, and I used my first unlock on Ghost because I was sick of rushing around to the back of their spawn for them to get a UAV and then I get turned on. So that's why I went with Ghost. So I used Perk 1 Greed with Flak Jacket and Ghost. That way I don't die by grenades and I can stay off the radar. Uh, my second perk is always Fast Hands because that's like the sleight of hand in this game. I really wish they did have sleight of hand. Uh, fast, mag, uh, fast Hands just... I know Fast Hands, it's not the sleight of hand. Excuse me, Fast Mag is the sleight of hand. I always get it confused. Uh, fast hands is where you uh, swap weapons faster and you throw it's almost like quick draw basically and that's what I use as my second perk um, and then my third perk is tactical mask all my perks are to you know not die by explosions not get stunned by the stun charges dude I cannot stand them even though I use them of course I'm gonna use them they are like so ridiculous dude if you get stunned by them you are stunned forever it seems like you cannot move so I usually use them, and I use one, you know, because I had to get rid of my uh, secondary and one of my shock charges. I'd really love to get um, both of the shock charges. I actually thought about getting rid of the Simtex for another one, uh, but I'm actually thinking about uh, going with Perk 2 Greed um, and using Scavenger, maybe, and um, fast, fast Hands. But I also thought about going uh, with uh, Perk 3 Greed using uh, Dexterity and uh tactical mass just because it's nice being able to uh jump over things really quickly man i miss sleight of hand like my brother-in-law i'm sure you can hear him raging every once in a while and he actually says something in this gameplay he's like dude i love how it takes three seconds to freaking reload and it really does dude i wish they would have brought back sleight of hand i'm not really sure why they didn't that's been around in call of duty forever dude and uh, you know it wasn't overpowered you know a sleight of hand wasn't overpowered maybe sleight of hand pro in modern warfare 2 with snipers uh, but as far as sleight of hand being overpowered, it wasn't. I really wish they'd have brought that back. Um, I don't know. What kind of lo loadouts do you guys use when you're playing Black Ops 2? Do you guys do any of the perk greeds, or do you guys, you know, use your secondary and all that stuff? I don't know. I really like the flat jacket and go set up. I don't die by explosions. I stay off the radar. Tactical mask is a given with all the stuns and concussions and stun charges in this game. Um, it's just it's pretty ridiculous. So... Yeah, Ghost does not keep you off the radar. I said that earlier, but I just want to stress that for people that be like, you know, yo, to your bitch, you're using Ghost. It doesn't, you know, if I stop moving, I appear on the radar. If you look at my little triangle on the mini-map, you can see that it's kind of like every once in a while when I'm moving, it will dim. That means I'm appearing off the radar. But when I stop, 
it actually, you know, brightens back up and that shows that I'm showing onto the radar. So I don't use it to camp. I just use it to get around to their backside. And I experience this lag like you're seeing right now all the freaking time. Uh, it's pretty freaking ridiculous. I don't know. The lag in Black Ops 2 sometimes is just like super, super annoying. The hit detection, uh, dude. The hit that I don't even want to go into the hit detection there, but we win a game 221 to 131. I go 82 and 35. I hope you enjoyed this little random Nuketown 2025 commentary. Leave in the comments what you think of the removal of 2025 24-7. Uh, are you glad that they put it in this little chaos mode, or would you like to see it in the regular rotation? But I'm out of here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Peace.